Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for July 9th, 2020. Let's see what we have for today. I keep saying integrity, I'm telling you. Now I do batch film these, but still, every time I like, I go into kind of a, what, what can I call it, like a neutral space, like a level space so that whatever needs to come through can come through. Integrity, integrity, integrity. Where is your integrity? Figure it out. Okay. <laughs> what do you stand for? What do you truly believe in? Not what other people say you should believe in, right? When I lived in New York City, when I lived in New York City, it's a very liberal city for the most part, okay? And there would be things that were just so, like so far, like polarized one direction that I was like, I'm not with you 100% going that way, but okay, I get what you're going for here. But if you did not agree with them 100%, oh my gosh, you would get the most pretentious lecture, okay, from some privileged person who's going to tell you why you're not doing life right. I mean, it was ridiculous. Now, I'm sorry, New York City. <laughs> <laughs> is that all of you? No, of course not. But I had that experience enough to call it out here. You know what I'm saying? So what we're saying here is don't get pulled into that. Where's your integrity? What do you stand for? Don't be afraid to have your own voice. Okay. You don't need other people informing you about how to feel. You have a perfect gauge for that in your heart. I dropped the card. Hang on. <laughs> oh. This fell out of the deck. It's Red Jasper, Healthy Boundaries. What a funny card to come out while we're saying all this, right? Being in your integrity, setting boundaries. Um, you know, if people are wanting to find ways to be a victim and they want to drag your reputation down so that they can feed in that way, I worked with a ton of those people. They were always victims. You could say like, oh, the sky is blue. I can't believe you just said that because in my perception, maybe I see it as purple. Okay, and that's offensive to me. Okay, like, oh, <laughs> bye New York, bye. Okay, people are like that in LA too, you know, coastal people. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, guys, do not come for me. I'm just saying, okay? I've given most of my adult years to either coast, so I can speak on this. It's okay. All right, so Red Jasper, being grounded, standing your ground. And so if somebody says, no, that's not right to say that, you know, say, according to who? According to you, because it doesn't go with your beliefs, set your boundaries, guys. Set your boundaries. This also means not, not being afraid to get a little uncomfortable. Okay, let me give you a funny story. I think I may have used this example before. But I used to have a hairstylist who I was going to sell my furniture. And she had a friend who was looking to buy, you know, some upgraded furniture, but secondhand furniture, she has a toddler. So she wanted to come over and take photos, which I thought was weird. Cause I'm like, I, I can send you photos. It's, <laughs> it's, a, or we can FaceTime and I will go around and show you the furniture. And then if you decide you want to see it, you can come see it. Uh, this was years ago. And for whatever reason, this hairstylist that I had, she insisted on showing up. Well, she sure did show up at my home with her child in their bathing suits and cover ups and wanted to use the pool at my apartment complex, went through my kitchen. I had, I had some like margaritas and stuff, drank all the margaritas, um, ended up ordering a pizza, made me pay for it, would not leave. And I just thought about, this actually happened, you guys. This actually freaking happened, okay? And I remember looking back and going, why in the world didn't I sit? <laughs> set some boundaries. I think most people would be like, you need to get out <laughs> or don't come over at all. Most people would have set those boundaries. But I remember being in such a vulnerable space. This is when I just moved to Colorado Springs and I had that sociopath for a neighbor. I, I'm telling you, Colorado Springs, you did not make, now I'm coming for Colorado Springs. Here we go. Colorado Springs, you did not make a good impression on me <laughs> when I first moved here. I thought, I thought everybody was crazy and I had just spent all of my life savings getting here and at every turn it was just like wow um but why is that I wasn't setting boundaries I was tired I had a lot to think about I had to get my my you know stuff here I had to figure out my living situation um and then people just kind of snuck in <laughs> right so the reason why I'm telling you that story is to be aware where people are taking advantage of a vulnerable moment if you're going through a major life change that's what was happening with me um it wasn't that i was a bad person like some supposed spiritual people out there wanted to comment and say i said it hi i'm really going for it in this video i feel good about it 
<laughs> that's setting boundaries and saying no you can't just do that um but yeah i was going through a huge life change and so i had some vulnerability there and people were coming in and just taking advantage of that so i want to offer that today if you're having a moment make sure you're not defensive but that you're taking care of yourself in being aware yes so don't be afraid to say no all right guys i'm gonna leave it there i'm sending you all so much love and take care